Hello everyone, I'm Bill Griggs uh, from uh, CNC Router Tips and the Maker's Guide and I'm working on converting this Grizzly G0704 milling machine to uh, CNC and one of the steps that I'm doing in this video is I'm removing the stock motor and I'm going to replace it with a three phase one and a half horsepower uh, motor from Leeson and there'll be details uh, below in the description where I will give you the uh, part number of the motor and uh, also of the gear drive that I'm going to be using um, also of the belt drive that I'm going to be using uh, the belt drive is actually from Benchtop Precision and it's an adaptation uh, prototype that they made uh, for me for this motor. So there may be a few hiccups uh, in this initial one, but by the time you see this, uh, the final changes will have been made to it. So let's get going. Okay, the first thing I'm going to have to do is take off this head. Okay, got the bolts out, lift up the motor, turn it on its side. Because I'm not keeping this motor, I'm going to have to remove it, and to do that I'm going to have to get into the control panel, which is on this side of the machine, and find where the wires go and disconnect them. So before I go any further with this, which I've already got loosened up, I'm going to open up the control box. I want to make sure nothing was plugged in. I'm going to remove wire, the wire from the uh, motor from this rotary switch. And this is in position two. They used wire ferrules to terminate all the ends, so I can just unscrew that and slide it up. Past the point of no return, the final curtain. So that's the one wire from the motor. Now the other one I'm going to have to clip. I could desolder it, but I'm not going to go through that.
That was it. That was the two wires. Okay. Well, I can take the motor off. If you were going to use this motor with the belt drive uh, instead of replacing it with a big motor, then you'd have to do a few things with it. Uh, you would have to remove these four bolts that hold it in place uh, on the motor. You'd also need to remove that uh, C-clip. Uh, and you could use some of these uh, pliers that will uh, allow you to open those up and slip the gear off. And then you would get rid of this plate. And that would be it for you. You'd be done. Um, this motor would go back onto the other one and you'd replace this pinion gear with the pulley. But we're not going down that road. Uh, uh, now I got these snap ring pliers from uh, Harbor Freight because they were cheap and available. There's better ones out there and if you're going to do a lot of this sort of thing you might want to buy some. You squeeze, that opens up the clip. You can start sliding it off. Mm -hmm. There's a couple of different kinds of these too. So I might have to switch jaws to the bent one. Pretty simple to switch to the different jaws on these. We'll see uh, if this is any more effective. <laughs> well, you get what you pay for. So I went to Lowe's and picked up a set of channel lock uh, snap ring pliers. These come with several different tips and you can change the direction that it's going to go in. If it's set this way, now they uh, press in together, set the other way, they pull out. Let's try these. There's obviously a trick to this. There we go. Easy. That's off. You can 
pull off the gear. Okay, the next thing I've got to do is remove these guards from uh, the machine. Also, I got to take off the uh, tachometer. It just pops off. the plastic gear on there pretty tight and remove the keyway I'm going to use the spindle lock to hold the spindle. Try and loosen the top hat. Wasn't on there very tight. So took out the drawbar and the uh, collet. Yeah. 
Hard to do. I have to disconnect this. Three millimeter. That's the quill. Spindle.